Hey guys, this is Comic You Know. Today I'm doing a review for Thor and Loki, the 10th Realm, issue 1, and this is actually issue 5.1 of Original Sin, so it's a tie in mini series to Original Sin. We had one last week or two weeks ago with Iron Man and Hulk. And this week we have the Thor, Angela, slash Loki story. Um, you guys know I'm a humongous Thor fan, uh, which I'll actually describe a little bit. Uh, I will describe more about why I picked this. But first I want to give you guys a couple updates. First, of course, I have Comic and Note episode 55. And that's a show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are those comics, those exclusive comics. We got Robin Hood Legend, issue 5. Smallville Lantern, issue 4. Just League United, issue 3. Detective Comics, issue 33. Avengers Undercover, issue 7. Fantastic Four, issue 7. Daredevil, issue 5. And The Superior Foes, issue 13. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 55. Also, this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to have a special Q&A live show on Comic Frontline. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Get your questions ready and check it out live. That way we can answer all your um, questions. Uh, and also this Saturday we have Media Madness and that topic is going to be on Netflix original programming. So be sure to check that out. It's going to be a fun show. That's Saturday 9 p.m. Eastern Time for Media Madness. But let's talk about Original Sin, Thor, and Loki. The 10th Realm Issue 1. Um, why did I get this? As you guys know, I'm not a humongous Thor fan. Um, I really don't get any of the Thor titles. It's like Captain America. I just don't, you know, it's not my thing. Uh, I got this because I thought the story was pretty interesting. Uh, finding out where exactly Angela is put into the Marvel Universe, how the hell is she the sister of Thor and Loki, I was intrigued. So I was like, let me get the first issue, uh, see what's going on. So let's see if I liked it. Is it a new reader-friendly book? Um, I like the cover. That's another reason I got it, just because, again, it's Angela becoming a sister to Thor and Loki. How the hell does this all happen? So with this issue, we do learn that Angela is the daughter of Thor and Loki. Uh, yeah, that is legit. And the mother thought that Angela was dead, and Thor was like, nope, she's not dead. And he gets the help of Loki to try to find Angela. So with this issue, Angela's not really in it that much. She, her past is in it. We learn a little bit of how the hell she is related to Thor and Loki, but Angela herself is really not in this issue. So if you're not reading Guardians of the Galaxy, you have no idea who Angela is. You're only following Thor. You're not going to know who Angela is again. Um, I think it's a good lead up to knowing who Angela is, but Angela is not even a cliffhanger. So I thought that was a little disappointing. Or maybe she, I, maybe she was in the cliffhanger. Um, other than that, I really don't think, I think we got an image of Angela. That's it. Um, we don't really get to see who Angela is. Again, if you're not reading Guards of the Galaxy, I think you're going to be a little lost. Um, what I think, as someone that doesn't really like Thor, it's not my cup of tea. Again, <laughs> this issue still wasn't my cup of tea either. I just don't really love the dialogue. You know, it's really kind of hard to get into that medieval Norse type dialogue, Beowulf <laughs> style dialogue. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, it's just not going to be your cup of tea. And for me, personally, I didn't love this issue. Um, I'm, I'm writing in a way, though, that I feel like Thor fans are going to enjoy it. It's not a bad issue. The art is actually really good. I like how um, it's dark, but again, light at the same time. It's not as dark as Original Sin, um, the actual Original Sin series. Um, really like the art style here, uh, so that's something I really enjoyed. And again, I think Thor and Loki fans are going to really enjoy this, especially if you like the movie. There's a lot of like, movie type references here. Uh, so yeah, Thor and Loki fan, get it. If you're not, if you are like me and just not your cup of tea, I don't really recommend it. It's not going to change your opinion on Thor. It didn't really change mine. Uh, I'm not going to get the next issue, but I'm glad I gave it a try. I mean, I, you kind of already know that Angela's the sister. I don't really think you need to know more than that. I don't know what you're going to get else from the story. Uh, unless you're following Thor, then you're obviously going to see Angela more in Thor, so that's a reason to pick up this miniseries. But if you're not really reading it, I don't think you have to get it. Um, if you're just following Original Sin, it's just a miniseries, so don't, you don't have to feel obligated to get it. So I'm going to give it three stars. It wasn't bad, but again, not my cup of tea. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.